Hi, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. The Spiritual Justice Gym. God is Queen. You can call me Queen. Either one would do. I answer to both. Oh, my gosh, you guys. How your mama doing? How you doing? You feel me? Sorry, I had to clean off my camera. My hair is a little wild, but <laughs> I had a long day, y'all. Y'all, I had a really long day. Well, it was just really, I've been busy hella, like, getting everything done. And then, you know how spiritual warfare, people want to come against you, do it. Like, it's like, y'all not taught yet. You, they trying to keep me from the bag, but you know, you got to get the bag with, by any means necessary. People be, like, trying to play with you, and you like, with who? Especially where I'm, where I'm at, this program, this housing program. This, okay, this lady was supposed to be helping me, right? And every time she tried to... Hold on. Excuse me, babe. I'm making a video, please. Okay. Um, every time um, she tried to play these little games, like, I don't know what she be doing. I, like, I don't see through this stuff. And, and if I don't see through it at the time, then the most high, she will let me, like, boom. This is what it is. And I'm like, oh, okay. So I learned not to even feed that. Like, I, I play with that energy because... You want somebody playing with you and you got to deal with them. That's what you got to do. You got to stand back and let them play and let them be you, them, them, and you go ahead and be you. Because, baby, I be, she be doing one thing, I be on a whole other page. Sometimes that's what you have to do because people be playing with you for real. And they want to see how far they can go so they can get you to self-sabotage. And you got to really, um, with that kind of energy, you got to really know how to uh, differentiate and how to uh, discern. And with me stepping into my full divinity, baby, she can play. And everybody else that want to play with her, y'all can continue to play. But the people that's on a high vibrational level that, you know, that's with me on this wavelength, how you doing? How your mama doing? How your kids doing? How y'all doing? <laughs> now, let's get into this reading. I'm in a good mood, y'all. I was really tired. And the most high was like, go do the reading in this energy because they don't want you to do the reading. And I want you to do the reading in this energy. So I'm just like, okay, I'm going to get you what you want. I'm going to be all beady. I'm going to be your yes woman. You feel me? So let's see what the most high has to say. Hun, I'm, I'm doing the video, hun. Please. She, okay. My daughter's hitting the ball. Um, I told you I have an autistic daughter. So she's like, you know, texture and hitting the ball. She loved doing that stuff. So. Excuse her. Okay. Um, spirit is it's saying be patient and have strength with the situation because there's a lot of deceit around you. It's a lot of deceit around the situation. Oh, somebody in love. Somebody in love and love because baby, the first chakra card came out with the Karen connections. Boom, off rip. Somebody in love and like, and somebody is healing. Somebody wants to heal a connection because they're in love with you and they're in love with you. They want to give you some, mm, 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 no, they want to put it in your life. <laughs> they really do. I'm telling you, I'm seeing the cards. They want to put it in your life. They wish you happiness and healing. There is somebody with some beautiful energy around. But um, the way I'm picking up this love energy is like two different things. It's like, be with this one situation. I don't know whatever situation. Let me see. Because this is not the same. Yo, it's not the same situation because it's a low vibrational situation here. Yeah. Anything that you outside of love, anything that you want outside of love, you it's crazy because spirit is actually to manifest it with your heart, even though it's outside of love. Anything with love, let's see. The whole, it's already here, baby. They see your value, whoever this is. They see your value. They see that you are worth it. Y'all gotta um excuse my background. They they doing the most. They doing the most right now. So we just gonna like tune they booties out because they doing the most. Oh my gosh! Ah, uh, here we go. Oh no 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 no! I, I know somebody got. <laughs> A love like a spouse here because I see a love connection, but let's let's get into it because my hair is going every day. I know, but let's get into this. They is upset. Somebody is heartbroken and is like like really in aggressive energy, like like men in that masculine like heavy energy because this person loves you. This person wants you. This person see your value. 
And this community ain't with it. They like, uh uh-uh, uh, she need to go do something else. Or he need to go do something else with somebody else. They is not liking this. And Lord, their confidence and their self esteem is what I'm saying. Like, they, their heart is like sunken because I got a broken heart and a hostile car here. But Spirit is asking you to be optimistic about them being in this energy. They need to stay in this energy and out your connection. Whoever you're connecting with, they you need to let your haters stay in this energy. Stay like they gonna stay here, and you stay here. You stay in your um love light energy because I see you are um going on another journey within and baby, yo yo. What I'm hearing is everything that you want in this love connection is coming to fruition. And you're going to have some haters. You're going to have some people that's mad and broken hearted. But oh well. It's your connection. It's your relationship. So if they heartbroken, they mad, they upset about what you got going on in your love life, they need to move around. Seriously, like, we ain't stuck on nobody. We ain't worried about nobody, what they do. We ain't people pleasers over here. We done with that, that cycle. Like, play with somebody else, not, not me. <laughs> Please. Uh, okay um yes with this other energy because that was on a love tip even though um whatever situation outside of love where money uh whatever is going on with your life um spirit is asking you to have patience and strength because there is some deceit around this and asking you to really go within and manifest from your heart space whatever your heart desire you can have is what i'm saying they're gonna try to present illusions to you but you're gonna have to see through the illusions and then Go within to discern what's your next step. It, ha it has to be strategized. Or not even strategized, just go on and talk to spirit. I thought I had dropped the card, maybe not. Yeah, because they're doing this illusion magic with moon cycles. I'm hearing everyday moon cycles they're doing it with. They're gonna eventually have to walk away and, and go, and go uh, play with somebody else. Because, baby. <laughs> Everything is coming in. The door is open. I know this is a door to romance card, but all I'm picking up here is doors to everything that you want, that you've been desiring in your heart for yourself. Even love. Love is, is coming, y'all. So don't even play with it. Love is coming. Just be patient on it too. But we're talking about getting ourselves right. And we're getting yourself right. God said just have to be patient and have strength because it's a lot of deceit. And you got to go in to see the illusions because it's being created every everyday moon magic. Somebody who's using the moon in its cycle daily, in its daily cycle. I, I think I'm putting that in the correct um, wording. I hope I, I hope you get me. Like, waning moon, many moon. Okay, I'm going to use this waning moon to, like, give her illusions, you know, or um, for her not to see something. You know what I'm saying? Or for him not to see something. Someone is doing that. But y'all already know on my channel, like... Transmute that. Transmute the heck out of that energy because they playing with you. They trying to play, and then when they create these, like it don't even have to be they they're creating like illusions. Maybe they're lying to you because that's what this housing manager did to me. She is she lied to me, and then she got with another. Um, I would I, I should tell y'all to um commute the property but i'm not gonna do that i'm not gonna be messy <laughs> but she lied to me about um my moving day and she lied to me about other things and i'm just like huh and she created the illusion like granted i already knew i already knew that it was some kind of craziness going on so spirit told me to flow with it so I flow with the energy that was going on. And how about they played themselves? I didn't even want the apartment anyways. I just wanted to see how they was gonna play themselves. And they thought I was being stupid. Or they tried to say make me um young, dumb. And I already knew what was what. And then they tried to play me. When they couldn't play me, then they tried to make me mad. And I wasn't even mad because I knew that that was what they were trying to do, anyways. It's like pettiness. When I tell you the enemy all time high of pettiness, like you guys gonna have to really endure some pettiness because this is what they own the pettiness. These they own making you trying to look stupid or feel stupid. Or if, if they can't do that, then they want you angry. If they can't do that, then they gonna come another way. You know what I do? I don't even pay no attention because you know what? I ain't even trying to control that situation. That's you. That's what you want to do. I'm in control of what I'm in control of, and the most high got the rest of it. 
Because you know what that energy gonna do? That your karma comes. And when my karma comes, it's gonna be good karma. It ain't gonna be no bad karma. So I ain't even playing with, you know, the most high like that. I ain't even playing with the universe like that. I'm like, I put out the in, the energy I intentionally want back to me. If you want to take me through some loopholes and keep taking me through some loopholes, and I'm gonna keep you, you gonna keep pinning yourself down for harsh painy, pay, um, harsh endings, harsh painful endings because you keep playing with the Most High people. I am the Most High's child. Whether you like how I, I operate in my energy or not, that's a personal problem. You want to take that up with the Most High, and she. Don't really care about your opinion about me. Because you know why? I don't went to her about it. She don't really care. Because you should be focused on you and not me. Go to God, not me. You are probably with the God within me. And because that God, that that high level of God is not within you. So you get mad at me. Don't be mad at me. Love with the fuck up. Period. 